all right cut out this can be over g of x squared and so g of x was uh, 5y so it's going to be 5y squared written like that all right we're going to continue this next thing we should do is plug in dy over dx so we're just going to rewrite that so we negative 20y just simplifying negative 4 times 5 is negative 20 and then it's going to be minus 20x and then times dy over dx dy dx is written above it's going to be equal to that so we negative 4x 5y because that's what dy over dx is equal to. And then if we do 5y squared, it's 5y times 5y, so it's gonna be 25y squared. And now the next thing we do is we're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by 5y, so it's gonna be 5y over 5y. That's gonna give you negative 100 y squared minus 80 x squared and that's actually going to be plus because it's negative times a negative all right and on the bottom it's going to give us 5 times 25 is 125 And that's going to be y to the third. All right, simplifying this a little bit more. The, you can get 5 out of this. You can get 5 out of this. And you can also get 5 out of this. So 5 out of 100 is going to be 20. So it's going to be negative 20. Y squared. 5 out of 80 is going to be 16. That's a little bit difficult. But it's going to be 16. X squared. And then 5 out of 125 we just did that it's going to be just 25 uh, y to the third that's actually going to be the final answer for question number 10 it was a little bit difficult using the quotient rule but we got through it good job